My name is Sarah Lampy. My name is Chris Lampy. And we have our daughter Evelyn. So we decided to come to Breath of Life because one of my dear friends had three of her children here. And I saw the experience, I saw how happy she was, I saw how great the kids were, and I saw how involved her husband was. I didn't actually have a say in where the baby was gonna be born. <laughs> I mean, she said, we're having the baby at Breath of Life, and I said, okay. Um, like the good I, husband he is. So I was concerned because obviously, you know, at a hospital there's doctors and, and you know, um, it's a medical facility. Um, so that was my reservation. My mom used to be an, a labor and delivery nurse. And so she had the mindset of things can go wrong. And um, so listening to her and listening to friends too, who kind of thought it was maybe a little bit out there to have a baby at a birthing center versus a hospital. Um, but I knew this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to have um, my baby as naturally as I could, as long as I was healthy enough and my baby was healthy enough to do so. The, the midwives are the biggest assets here. They're because they're so well trained and so comforting and just so good at their job. Like I can't like stress that enough. So here at Breath of Life, we are nationally accredited and we are the only accredited birth center in the entire Tampa Bay area. So we're really proud of that. We chose to become accredited um, to have accountability to our clients and to the community as well. And so what that means is that there are certain standards that we have to meet. Um, our staff has to meet as far as being prepared for emergencies. The building has to meet certain criteria. Um, we seek to provide evidence-based care and incorporate that into our policies and procedures for the birth center too. And we also have to use technology appropriately. Um, so that means as a birth center, we can't overuse technology, but we do have resources here if we need them. Here at Breath of Life, we want to do our best to make sure that you and your baby are safe and have the best care possible. The way that we do that is looking at state-specific criteria to make sure that your pregnancy is considered low risk. So before you're accepted into care, we do a comprehensive evaluation of your health as well as ongoing risk assessment throughout your pregnancy. And we do this through screenings and tests that you would have done in your typical OB office. So they were constantly gauging my physical and mental state too, to make sure that everything would be smooth for them. Um, had there been any concerns on their part, they would have, you know, they would have said, sorry, you're gonna have to look to into you know, the hospital to deliver her. So certified nurse midwives are trained as nurses first. So we all have an undergraduate degree in nursing and we are registered nurses. Then we get our master's degree in nursing. So that's an additional two to three years of training. Uh, we are all advanced practice registered nurses. And so we are able to care for women across the lifespan, um, as well as take care of newborns up to 28 days of life. At Breath of Life, we do require that all of our clients take a series of childbirth courses and these courses are taught by certified childbirth instructors who have also had their babies at Breath of Life. These classes help to prepare moms for what to expect with a natural unmedicated birth, as well as how to take care of themselves and their baby when they are discharged home. Midwifery model of care is just being able to support a woman through her pregnancy and through her birth and through that first bit of postpartum um, and just really trusting their body and the process of birth and kind of holding space, being there to protect the normalcy of it all and intervening when we need to. Here, the entire process was, everything's gonna be okay. And it is. It was. And th they kept looking and testing to see that everything was okay. And if it wasn't okay, then we moved from there, but everything was going to be okay. And that, Cindy, really pushes that message throughout labor and delivery that everything is okay. When I go back and think about my my child's birth, like they're right there along, you know, with Evie and Marita and, and Sarah. They're just like a big part of it. Like, I almost feel like they're family. I mean, they're integral to giving us the birth that we wanted, yeah. you know, they gave the mm -hmm. best start to our daughter's life. Mm -hmm. I'll be forever thankful to them.